Good morning, traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. This morning, a court in Seoul said that uh, Samsung has not been copying uh, Apple's iPhone. That is a very dramatic uh, decision. Uh, also, the uh, court was stressing that uh, both companies had been uh, copying each other and they, as a result, also then uh, ordered Samsung and Apple to stop distribution on some of their products. Both companies were giving them uh, instructions to pay each other damage compensation. Regarding the European market today, uh, yesterday we saw uh, a falling trend in European stocks and also then a fall in the US market. This was followed up in Asia today, where the South Asian Pacific Index fall more than 2% after being up for the last days. It seems that realities now are starting to clash a little bit with then uh, might be overblown expectations regarding then uh, uh, monetary easing from the Federal Reserve and from Europe. So uh, I expect that we would see a somewhat slower growth in the security markets for the next weeks to come. Some kind of a correction, I think, is in the cards. The euro is still strong, 125.35 this morning, and uh, it's keeping up on the good level that it has reached over the two last trading days. The US dollar is still falling a little bit towards uh, other currencies. It's also worthwhile noticing that the British pound is strong against uh, the US dollar for the time being. Also, the Scandinavian currencies, Norwegian and Swedish crowns, are up against the dollar. Oil prices are still uh, relatively strong, but falling back from the highs yesterday. Gold prices continued to, continues to go up, and so does silver. So both these precious metals are used as a hedge in a currency uh, market, which starts to be more and more volatile. Eyes are, all, uh, are also then on Paris and uh, on Berlin today, where the Greek Prime Minister Antonis Samaras is going to meet with Chancellor Merkel and with uh, President Hollande. Yesterday, Merkel and Hollande said that they would like Greece to keep up and not make any deviation from uh, their austerity measures. We would see then today whether uh, Samaras' bid on uh, uh, a two years period, grace period, where he could have a, where Greece could have a chance to then uh, uh, postpone the austerity measures for some time, whether that would be followed up by his European partners. Uh, never the, whatever is going to be the outcome, this is going to have an impact in short term on the value of the euro US dollar. I wish you all a nice trading day and a nice weekend from United World Capital and Cyprus.